Bjork contacted me to ask me to sell her collection. I was amazed, thrilled and honoured. She tells me it's the only time she's ever going to auction any of her clothes. Some of the most memorable pieces would be the Jean-Paul Gaultier uh, tunic that she wore in his Grand Voyage collection and incredible pieces by Alexander McQueen. We have the incredible bell dress where she danced across uh, the Icelandic landscape and of course we have the beautiful kimono-like dress that she wore on the cover of Homogenic. Bjork's relationship with Lee Alexander McQueen was more than, much more than a professional one. They have ideas, they discuss ideas together so that the pieces that we have Sometimes they follow the line of a collection that he already had in his mind and other times they're complete one-offs, they're extraordinary, wild uh, flights of imagination. I have to admit, I'm a huge Bjork fan. Um, the rest of my house may not be, I'm driving them mad because I listen to her endlessly. The bell dress, which is one of my favourite pieces in the cell, it's like a sculpture. They were chatting, he just sketched a brief pencil outline for the piece. When the dress arrived, it was made in, in London, flown to Iceland. When it arrived, it was absolutely perfect. The dress is incredibly heavy. There's a separate little corset that he made for her, which again helps keep her torso straight, helps take the weight and has massive shoulder straps inside so that she could dance and prance and sing on the uh, volcanic landscape of Iceland. It's wonderful. The pagan poetry dress is, uh, is a beautiful piece. That was Bjork's idea, and the Queen came up with this beautiful romantic dress, which um, is, is corset-like at the top, but it's transparent so you can see the frame within, the body within, and there are nipple rings which are attached to the breasts. Um, in the video itself, it shows uh, elements of piercing as well, which is a bit hard to watch, but um, I'm happy to say that didn't actually happen to Bjork. I don't know who that did happen to. <laughs> Her last album, Von the Cura, it almost moves me to tears. It's so beautiful, it's so melancholy, but at the end there's this message of rebirth, which is fabulous.